everyone, so welcome back to my channel. Can I first say, please don't judge my makeup right now. I have just done a challenge video and that video is gonna be going up after this one. Sorry, my lipstick was annoying me. But um, my whole face is annoying me. I don't even know what I'm on about. But yeah, again, this is a collection video, but all of my skincare. So since I don't have a lot of skincare, I can kind of go into detail about some things. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I just didn't want it to be a random video. You know, I like to do an intro when I'm doing a bit of a collection video. So yeah, um, if you are new watching this, please make sure to subscribe to my oh great I just put lipstick on my cheek brilliant um yeah if you're new please subscribe to my channel if you're not already you can't be watching my videos and not subscribing who do you think you are um okay so yeah let's just get straight into this because I cannot bear to look at my face anymore right now it's so bad but yeah um that challenge video will be going up this Sunday so make sure to have a look out for that and yeah that's it let's get into the video I just have like my little desk thing here very like things are like sticking out of here so this is like basically like my little desk area where I just keep like all of my important paperwork in this drawer and then all of my skincare in here obviously so I can get it like every morning and stuff and then I just have like my college work down here and TV bracket here because I plan to put a TV up here. If you want to see how my room is laid out and everything hi guys if you want to see how my room is laid out and everything just i will link a room tour video either here or here obviously on one of the side of the videos so yeah if you want to go watch that you can do but yeah let's start so all of my main skincare is what i keep in here so i have this little bag and i just like obviously i can take this out but i mainly have this little bag because of when i like go to my boyfriend's or stay over at someone's house or anything and um, yeah i can just take my main pro problems okay um i can take my main products in here so i'm just gonna place them all on here while i just pull things out at the very front i have like my big bottles of stuff and what i use every day no matter what so this is my simple micellular cleansing water this is what i use to take off my makeup and then i have some little cotton pads obviously what I'll use with most of these products and then here I just have this bottle because it's just ideal and a fit here and reminds me to always use it because I don't really tone as much as I should so yeah this is the fine flowers toner from L'Oreal I really like this one obviously it lasts such a long time and it's such a big bottle for any skincare like this please check out Superdrug they are amazing so then I have like these little slot things and I actually got these from a store called The Range if you're from the UK you will know that store but before I go on like the things in the back I'll just talk about these in the front so then in the very front as well oh by the way i just have some nail glue here as well just chilling for when i do have like my fake nails on so i just have my little vaseline pot here as well obviously for my lips this is what i always use then i just have like just down here like some clips and bubbles and another clip as well that's where a face mask has like exploded so excuse that so yeah just any clips and bubbles that I may use obviously when I get out of the shower and stuff I might need them to like clip back my hair and um, up here I just have like a moisturizing butter for my body yeah I just keep that there as well pretty handy to use again when I get out of the shower I always come to this drawer and then this is my face mask brush it is dirty at the minute because I need to like wash it so this is the real techniques pointed foundation brush and then here are basically all of my like face masks that I have so I have the L'Oreal Paris pure clay mask this one is the detox mask by the way that one is literally one of my favorites so i have this purity mask which i'm to be honest i'm not really that keen on it but yeah i have that oh Okay, that just fell. And then I have the Blemish Rescue. Oh my god, I can't speak. I have the Blemish. Oh my goodness. I have the Blemish Rescue Mask. And this is like the blue one. And yeah, this is also amazing. I don't like how it doesn't dry down as much, but it's amazing for blemishes. Um, and then I have a little newbie here. This is the Glam. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clear and Treatment. Absolutely love this stuff. Yeah, just absolutely love it. I do have a skincare routine that is on my channel as well. So I'll have that linked below and somewhere on the screen as well right now. If you do want to go and watch that of course when you finish watching this video okay can't believe me early okay so yeah then i have like all of my bubbles and stuff like under there so now we'll go back over to this section and this little drawer like obviously it can pull out so basically what i have in here is like face washes moisturizers like just little bits all over again the same as in here so in here because it is the bigger one of the two little boxes i just keep my face washes in here they're both from simple obviously different ones you can see exactly what they are really clearly i also then have a little toner in here again from simple and then i have a simple eye makeup remover which i haven't used yet but my friend lauren has this and she likes it so i'm assuming it'll be good and um, these two products are actually just new which my boyfriend got me for christmas so i haven't really used them that much just like 
lying in this drawer as well. I have some like little, I have some little like samples as well just lying in here. So this is a cleansing foam from whatever brand that is. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to say that. And hi, crusty nail, you look cute. And then I have this rose hip cleanser from somewhere called Indie Lee. And this is to remove your makeup, impurities and soothe redness. And I'm not going to read the rest because you can read it yourself and pause it if you want to. And then I have like some of my Clinique stuff in here. So I just have the moisture surge, which I absolutely love using under my eyes. I also have this gentle foaming cleanser, which is my mum's favourite face wash and my favourite face wash when I steal it off her. So yeah, I have a little sample of this. I also then have my travelling moisturiser. This is the dramatically different moisturising lotion from Clinique. And then I have one of my old moisturisers. Then I have a packet in here. This is basically for when I go travelling. I can just put any little products in here. Okay, can't be just dropping everything on the floor there. So yeah, if I'm honest, I got this from when I went to Belfast and obviously I went on a plane. And then I have my traveling like makeup remover because I cannot take this big micellular water when I go traveling. So this is just the take the day off from Clinique. This stuff is really good, but I couldn't use it every day because it is a bit oily. And then I have this. To be honest, I just keep this in here even though it's run out because I need to buy a new one. This is really good like for spots and everything. Again, I just have another little sample. This is from Ren and it's basically i don't even know what this is i think it's like some kind of oil or something i'm not quite sure i haven't even used it yet i have like some spot treatment things in here so for one from simple and my favorite one from newton's lab um lauren also loves this one and then it comes back down to this which is an oily anti-wrinkle thing if i'm honest my mum gave me this and i've just shoved it in here i usually use this under my eyes if anything but i very rarely use it okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna shove things and need you back in here i've been joking i've literally just pulled everything out and spoke for a good 10 minutes and realized i wasn't recording what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put all of these products back in here and tell you as i go in this little space i like to use it up as well because as you can see i'm like tight for space so in here i just keep my three glam glow little masks the ones that i have is the gravity mud firming treatment again i just lay these down and like push it right to the back as you can see it then just lies in there nicely and then i have a youth mud i haven't used this one yet and then i have a thirsty mud mask as well so then i just lie them all in like that and then on the top i just put my favorite moisturizer which is the l'oreal hydrogenium so yeah that just fits like literally perfectly in between them in this little box i just keep everything that i've already pulled out in the back behind this box i just have like a little i'll pull it out i have a little carbon cocoa bag which they set me along with some products and then i just have t-zone charcoal nose pore strip so when I do um, any nose strips, obviously they're in here. But yeah, so what goes in this is I also keep my Carbon Cocoa Natural Teeth Whitening Powder in here. I haven't really used this that much, but it is really good. And yeah, just just say. I also then have some toothbrushes. So these two ones right here are my traveling toothbrushes. And then this one is for when I use that Carbon Cocoa Powder. So obviously I need a separate toothbrush when I use that. Yeah, I just keep them like all like in there. I also have like this blue thing from Carbon Coke, if I'm honest. I have no idea what that is. I think it's like something like scrape your mouth. I d I'm not even sure so I'm not going to go into that. But then also what I keep in here is all of these masks. So let's just go back through them. This is from Superdrug. This is their deep cleaning mud mask. And then again I also have some samples. So this is the Alpha Essential Hydration Cream. And it's looking a bit crusty. And then I have this eye relief cream from Skin Iceland. A moisture bomb tissue mask from Garnier. Which I just like to fold up and then put in there. I have this Boots sheet mask and then one of my faves as well, a peel off mask from 7th Heaven and this is the green tea one. It also has like witch hazel and stuff in it which absolutely helps my skin. Um, yeah and then the next two things I have in here as well, just lying on the top is this antibacterial cleanser. This is my favourite thing honestly, one of my top three items in skincare and I'll use this every night no matter what. So I just leave that like lying on the top there and then right beside it I always put my simple moisturiser which when I want to use more of a cream moisturiser this is the one I'll go to. So yeah and then obviously this is the rest of the things that were in the front of this drawer and I'm just going to go ahead and put these back in and show you what I like to call my excess drawer. So yeah, I'm going to put these back in and show you that. Okay, so then to the right of this little table, I then keep like all of my makeup and excess skincare. So right in this top drawer is where we're going to go. 
So in here, I just keep like any of my excess skincare. You'll see there's a whole load of stuff in here. Just things that I don't want to throw away, but I do keep. Right on top here is something I got sent by the Skinny Cafe. These are weight loss capsules. And I'm not going to lie, I took two of these today before I went to the gym. And I'll let you know how I get on with these. I might even do a review if they're really good. But yeah, I'll probably post on my social media and everything. So I will leave my social media like links like, don't know, put it like somewhere on this table, edit it in. So yeah, if I don't edit it in, please just check down below. And then they also sent me across this skinny coffee. I haven't even used this yet, if I'm honest. So can I give you any feedback on that? But I absolutely love packaging and love the idea. So yeah, these are sold on Beauty Bay, if you're wondering. Okay, so then in here, as I said, I just have excess skincare. So I'm kind of just gonna work like around the drawer and just pull out random things. Right in the front here, I have this Primark mask, if I'm honest. It's not my favorite because I feel like it did make me break out, but it's a glow mask. Yeah, I just threw it in here because I upgraded to like glam glow masks and stuff so I didn't really want to use this and then I also have this um, seventh heaven mask the argan oil one deeply cleanse and improve skin texture I actually might give this a go so I'm gonna throw it in my other drawer if I'm honest put it up there so I don't forget okay next in here I have this and I absolutely love this I stole this off my mum this is the seventh heaven cucumber peel off mask again I love it that much that I've just bought like a big bottle of it it's great for around my nose because as you can see it is for oily skin so I absolutely love this. Again, I need to try and put it in that other drawer, but that other drawer is so full. That's why I need this drawer. And um, next down here, I just have some cleansing lotion. So this is like a lotion to take off your makeup. A cleansing lotion to take off your makeup. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I haven't really used this that much, if I'm honest. I just prefer the micellular water. But I keep this because I do hope to revisit it in the future. I also then have a little Clinique thing here. This is just a clarifying lotion, like an exfoliator. And um, yeah, my mum gave me this and when I'm ready to use it, I will go to it. But for now, I just keep it in there because I want to keep it. Down the side of here, I just have a little sample of this Forever Bright Aloe Vera Tooth Gel um, meant to make your teeth really shiny. I also then have, I have two of these actually. So yeah, I have two of these and I'm going to put one down so I don't keep dropping it. So as you can see, they are a bit different. Um, this one has exfoliant wrote under it and this one has skin. So I don't know if they're any different, but I'm assuming this is the one I've used because this is the dirtiest one. I did try this out and I felt like it broke out my skin. I actually am meaning to just give this to my friend called Lauren because she loves this brand Nip and Fab but I was really excited to use these because I saw that one of my friends on Instagram they absolutely love this but it just made me break out so I'm just a bit wary to use it now I'm grabbing something else out I have this aloe vera 100% gel this is great for removing any bacteria off your face I used to use this all the time and then I just really like wanted to try other things so I threw it in here but I do plan to revisit this aloe vera is amazing for your face by the way I used to have a plant down in my kitchen and I literally just used to like cut the plant open and rub it on my face and it did wonders. I also then have this rose hip oil. Again, it's just meant to be really good for your skin. I can't actually remember what it's meant to do. There are the instructions on the back if you're wanting to read about it. But I heard that this was really good for your skin. If I'm honest, I haven't got the chance to really try it all that much, but I do plan to in the future. I'm sure I got this from Holland and Barrett. Again, if you're from the UK or I don't know if that's even in America or whatever. So yeah, back here, I also have my Skinny Mint Super Fat Burning Gummies absolutely love this done a whole review on these and you'll know I love them I always talk about them also down here I just have some little samples of perfume so I have this Clinique happy perfume which is basically empty and then I have this little Versace perfume again I think this one's basically empty in here I have this witch hazel I don't know I just feel like I have so much skincare again this is something I would love to use more but I just don't have room for it in my main drawer so I keep it here but honestly witch hazel does wonders for skin so if you've really been having problematic skin please like look at this. I then have a little sample of the Pep Start eye cream from Clinique and then I have this facial scrub from Beauty Formulas with charcoal in it. I haven't even tried this yet but I do plan to use it in the future so yeah this is where it stays until my other face washes are used up. I was using this face wash for quite a long time as you can see I've used nearly half of it but then I just wanted to switch it up and use something else so I will revisit this again a product I will revisit but at the moment I'm just trying out other things. Of course this is why I do what I do on YouTube like most of these things I've tried and tested and then I'll put them away for a little bit and go back to them like yeah, I just want to try out new things for you guys I also then have a bigger size one to the lotion that I have in my main drawer and this is obviously just a backup for when I've used that all up and then I just keep this empty perfume in here if I'm honest I just really like the bottle and I plan to get like shelves in my room so I'm planning to keep this as decoration and I don't like to throw perfume bottles I'm a hoarder and I'm a whore for perfume bottles okay okay so then I have these two room sprays well they're body mist but I use them as room sprays I literally just got
got these from Asda. I think they're like one or two pounds each. So I have a cherry and vanilla one, two of my favourite scents. Okay, then this is just coming with things in the back. I literally just have this bottle and this is literally just water in it. This is what I used to use like back in the day for spraying makeup when I couldn't afford all them lovely setting sprays there. This is what I used to use. So yeah, and I'll use this to like dampen my beauty blender or anything like that. Or even when I'm like doing my hair and detangling it or anything. I also then have another clear plastic bag for if I travel. In the back here, I just have this Neutrogena moisturizer, which my mum has given me. And yeah, I just threw it in the back of this drawer. I didn't even know I had this, if I'm honest. Again, same goes. My mum gave me these two simple moisturizers and I'm a hoarder for skincare. So just threw them in here because I had spare. And then in here, I have this Posh perfume. And this is such a nice perfume, but this doesn't work. So yeah, um, again, I plan to put this up on a shelf when I do get the shelves in. Yeah, I have a men's perfume, which is actually really nice. Yeah, I got this as a gift and the person who got me it obviously didn't realize that it was men's obviously it was in a box like you can tell it's men's there back here again i just have some little samples of perfume and brilliant a hair in there it wouldn't be my video if there wasn't hair everywhere and then back here i just have some liquid latex for halloween some hand rub for hygiene so yeah that is literally it i'm now gonna go and put everything back but i just want to say thank you so much for watching that is literally all of my skincare that i have i know a couple of perfumes and everything was obviously involved but that is all of my skincare i do have two drawers and this again a disclaimer no way to brag or anything like that just wanted to show you my products and the way that i set out things and just whatever so i hope that this video helped in some shape way or form again don't forget to go and watch my skincare routine and my room tour both linked down below and somewhere on the screen i would have linked them throughout the video thanks so much for watching and i hope you join me in my next video subscribe if you're not already give this video a thumbs up and yeah i'll see you in my next one bye guys